Hi guys, it's Adam from Fablab Enskede and today we'll be covering a tutorial on how to print these double-sided keychains on the Trodex PD Laser 300. This tutorial is meant for beginners who would like to get accustomed to laser engraving and cutting on wood, acrylics and much more. We'll start by opening our design on Adobe Illustrator on our workstation computer. Since we'll be cutting and engraving our keychain, our design should have your main image along with the contour of whatever you want to cut. I made contours beforehand and included a loop for my keychain. Before you start, make sure you have the right sizes by checking the transform panel over here. Laser engraving and cutting consists of two different color properties in our design file. Our engraving values must be set as dark as possible. We can do that by double clicking the color picker and bringing down the values to the bottom left corner. We will then set our cutting line by going to the stroke color picker and we will set our RGB values to red 255 and the rest at zero. We must then make sure that the stroke of our cutting line is set to 0.001 millimeters. Since we will print our graphics on two sides of the same keychain, we must separate them in our printing. First, we'll make a new layer in the layers panel. Then we'll select the engraving of one side, press Ctrl X. We'll then paste it into the new layer by selecting it and pressing Ctrl F. We'll then repeat our step by pasting the side to another layer. We can then easily deactivate our layers when we begin to print. Our main layer should be left with a cutting stroke only. I'll rename this layer into Outlined. I can then delete my other cut line since we'll only be using one. I'll then move over the second graphic of the keychain to the same initial position as the first one. This way we make sure that we have a proper positioning of our engravings when we flip our keychain in the laser. Once we have everything set, we'll activate our first engraving and head to our print by going to File, then Print, or pressing Ctrl P. The window will bring you to the settings. Our printer should be automatically selected as Trotec Laser. Untick the box if our orientation is selected as Auto Rotate. The media width must be 420 mm in height and 420 mm in width. If by any chance it's not set in as such, we can go to Setup, Preferences, and input the values. We can then click OK. Then we'll hit back print, and then we'll press done. We'll then return to our print menu by clicking Ctrl P. And then we'll click print once everything is set. The Trotec job program will open and we can name our print. You can name it anyhow as long as you do not name the prints the same name. Otherwise this causes problems with the file reading. Once you click apply, our job will then be sent to the laser cutter. We will then go back to our design and deactivate the previous layer. Then, we will activate the other side's engraving. We will then press Ctrl P and send the job to the printer again. Once again, name your file and at this point both of the jobs should be sent to the printer. Afterwards, we will go and pick our material. I always try to reuse leftovers of previous prints in order not to have the wood go to waste. For these keychains, I will be using a 3mm wood. Keep in mind that every material must be cut differently depending on its composition and thickness. Here on this table, we indicate the best settings for your engraving and cutting. Once we have our material, we can go to the laser and open the Trotec software. If your laser is switched off, you can switch it on on the back left hand side of the machine. Make sure the lid is closed and let the bed go all the way down. Afterwards, you can connect your laser to the machine by pressing the USB icon. We can then place our material. On the right, we have arrows which can control the bed level and the location of the laser. Using the black up and down arrows, we will calibrate the laser focus for our material. To do so, we will need a laser calibration tool which is found inside the machine. We will hang the laser calibration tool on the side of the laser nozzle as such. We will then raise the bed of the laser until there is a slight touch to the calibration tool. Our laser will then be properly focused and calibrated. We will then point the laser to where we want to engrave using the main arrows. The printer jobs are located on the right hand side of the screen. 
drop your design and activate the eye tool to see how your design will be placed on the wood. Move the laser around to understand how much space you would need for your engraving and cut. We can then input our material settings by going to Settings, Material Template Setup. Here we have two values, our black is for our engraving and our red is for our cutting. Make sure that they're set accordingly. We will input the material settings in reference to the table I've mentioned prior. The best setting to engrave 3mm wood is to have a velocity on 40 and power at 100. Slower velocity equals more power for the laser. I sometimes lower my velocity even more to make sure that my engraving is even deeper, but it's best to stick to the given settings if you're a beginner. Same applies to our cutting. If you want your cut to fully go through, you can decrease the velocity slightly from the standard settings. Here I'll put in the recommended settings of 0.9 velocity and a power of 100. Once we're done, we'll press OK. Once you're set, we can leave a marker to know where to place our laser when we print to the other side. I like to use the upper left corner as my reference, which I can snap to. To leave a marker, we'll go to plate and select marker to laser. We're now ready to print. Make sure that the laser lid is closed and click start. Your laser will then start engraving and cutting. A quick word of caution, do not look at the laser beam. It may damage your eyes. After the laser finishes, we can open the lid of the printer. Try your best not to move the base of your material. We will need to flip the keychain directly on the same spot to engrave the other side too. To do so, you can wrap masking tape around your fingers with the sticky side up and stick your keychain. Flip over the other side and place the keychain back into the cutout. To start the other side, close the lid again and move the laser to the marked position. Put the previous job back into the list and bring in the other side of your keychain. Click the eye tool if needed. We will then go back to the material settings and select cutting. In the drop down menu we will select skip since our keychain is already cut and it just needs the engraving. We will press ok and start our print. If something goes wrong during the print or you simply want an extra keychain, you can restart by moving your laser to a new position and right clicking on job reset. Or repeat the cutting line if not everything is cut. Repeat the steps if needed. To give some finishing steps and to make your keychain even nicer, you can sand it using an orbital sander then coating the keychain with some varnish. Your double sided keychain is then ready. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope you get crafty with our laser. See you here at Fab Up and City.